Despite the difficult conditions resulting from the terrorist war and the US and European blockade, Syria managed to successfully complete the equipping of a center specialized in blood stem cell transplants, the first of its kind in the country, to treat children with cancer. More details in the following report with our correspondent Hisham Wanas. Based at the pediatric tissue hospital in the capital Damascus will be a hope for many children and families. This was stated by the First Lady of Syria, Asma al-Assad, during her visit to the facility, where she remarked that due to the war, circumstances and the blockade, some believed that it was impossible to complete such a center. But with determination, commitment, collaboration between institutions and teamwork, this dream became a reality. Despite the difficult circumstances caused by the war and the blockade that prevent us from importing the necessary medicines, equipment and medical supplies, we have managed to build and equip this center. Thanks to 15 years of hard work, so we can consider this achievement a major defeat of the blockade imposed on Syria and a true miracle. Thanks to the Syrian immigrants and several entities, the unit has been equipped with the latest medical technologies and meets the highest technical standards that guarantee the best levels of prevention, sterilization and isolation and ensure the health of sick children and the success of operations. It will provide treatment for children with leukemia, some solid cancers, hereditary blood diseases and congenital immune deficiencies. The center receives sick children from all over the Syrian territory and offers them medical treatment free of charge and the patient receives the required medical care before the transplant and after the transplant receive medical supervision that could last from five to ten years. We have trained doctors and nurses in cooperation with Iran and now these same staff are in charge of training other doctors and nurses within the transplant facility in order to have the necessary staff for this center and in the event of opening other centers in different parts of Syria. According to Damascus, the development of this center is a challenge to the unilateral European and U.S. coercive measures, which it describes as economic terrorism and an inhuman policy towards the Syrian people, a medical achievement that, among its main features, imposes medical isolation without imposing social isolation by having the mother present during the entire period of her child's treatment, which will help alleviate the great psychological pressure to which children are exposed during the entire period of treatment. Hisham Wanus, Telesur, Damasco, Syria.